Is it finally time? Nah, not yet. All right, what's up, Price Plow Nation? This is Mike here, founder of Price Plow, and today we're going to do a tasting review of the three flavors of Steel Fit's Steel Burn. Now, this is a straight up L carnitine supplement, liquid L carnitine, and I have three flavors. We have, as you can see, I already opened this one candy apple. I think this is the original flavor that came out blueberry lemonade. I'll tell you a little bit about that after this. And then I think the most recent flavor, Island Pineapple. It is June, let's say 22nd of 2020. And uh, before we go further, I got a couple of announcements to make. First off, congratulations to my friend Rob Kaufman at Steel Fit. You can tag him on Instagram, I am Steel Fit. He's the, he's the creator and founder of the company. Started with his, uh, with his dad who runs ProTan. Anyway. Rob had a baby. So he had a, a beautiful baby boy, I believe like Friday or so before Father's Day. So he got to celebrate his first Father's Day. Congratulations, Rob. We'll link back on YouTube to our original video interview with Rob. That's pre-baby. And then after, uh, as things go on in the future, you're gonna start seeing bags under his eyes and you're gonna start seeing more gray hairs and losing hair in Rob. So. Uh, just uh, for, don't remember to get some sleep, Rob. Anyway, congratulations. Welcome to the club. It is an extraordinary honor to be a father. So got to say that. So the second announcement is that we do have a business relationship with Steel Fit, and these products were sent for free. So keep that in mind. But what happened was that we weren't really uh, going to talk about this. I, I've gone back and forth over l carnitine over the years, and the long story short is there is such a volume of research showing that two grams a day is beneficial if uh, for so many different reasons, not just weight loss. It's sold as a weight loss, uh, usually sold as a weight loss supplement, and just in the name here, it's Steel Burn, but even like recovery and performance with athletes, especially like endurance athletes or anyone who's getting after it really hard, two grams a day is, um, is statistically significant. We recently covered a meta-analysis over several, several studies, and they all they just seem two grams a day, two grams a day, two grams a day, and there's so many benefits. Now, the reason I was never huge on it is because uh, there was not uh, a lot of research for people. The, the best research is really, there's a ton of research. The reason I wasn't as huge on it is because the research was showing for weight loss, it was really for the people who are deficient, whether it's like vegans and vegetarians or uh, elderly folks. And so I was like kind of lukewarm on it. But then I started realizing, and was, as you follow this channel over the years, you realize we have a big, uh, big heart on for, for telling people to eat more meat, especially red meat. We're big on red meat consumption here and people aren't eating enough of it. And L-carnitine, the best natural source is red meat. And it's like what people aren't eating. So the fact that a lot of people aren't maybe willing to go to like a pound, pound and a half of meat a day, which is kind of what's natural for us humans, if you're not willing to do that, then supplementation with things like choline, carnitine, creatine, all the C's, uh, a bunch of others, but carnitine especially is extremely beneficial. So I've gone from being anti-carnitine supplementation for, for most people, I am very pro supplementation. The research and the fact that y'all aren't eating up red meat dictates that. So now I'm off my soapbox. Gave our congratulations, Rob. It's time to talk about this supplement here. And so we aren't gonna really cover it. I was like, oh cool, another L-carnitine liquid. I have never, I've been sent so many, I've never in my life ever finished a bottle of L-carnitine liquid until this one. And so Rob sent me the blueberry lemonade a while back. It was sent for free, not this bottle, a whole other one. I just left it by my desk. And every day, I don't know why, it just became my morning ritual. I'd have like coffee a little bit at the, at the kitchen table or whatever. And when I come back over here to work, do a shot, do a shot, do a shot. And then the next thing I knew, I actually finished a bottle. And I've had other carnitines. Many of them are cheaters. This one is not. And the reason that the way they cheat often is by they add a sugar alcohol. They add like glycerol. A lot of them are cheating and not, not enough to like really um, <clears throat> put like calories on the, on the label, but they're adding a little sugar alcohol to a lot of the other ones. Not Steel Fit. So Steel Fit's got some really good flavors, but I've covered Black Cherry Slushy, their peanut butter protein. Uh, Black Cherry Slushy and their Steel, uh, and their Steel Pump pre-workout, their peanut butter Steel Whey, fantastic. But carnitine is a whole different game. So blueberry lemonade, we have in each in each tablespoon, 15 milliliters, which is a decent amount really if you weigh it out. Make sure you like look at a tablespoon, it's pretty big. Uh, it's three grams of L-carnitine. So there are some that have less 
dosage. And those will probably taste a little bit better, but give me the give me the two to three gram dose. And um, and so the, the ingredients are purified water, citric acid. These are the other ingredients outside of the three grams of carnitine. So you have some water, citric acid, potassium, uh, sorbase, sodium benzoate and then natural artificial flavors, and it is sucralose sweetened for everyone. But the fact of the matter is that there is no sugar alcohols inside, so I am a fan. So let's start with that blueberry lemonade flavor because it was the original that I had, and I've been actually drinking the candy app a little bit more. When you open it, you'll see. Let me see if I can get my face out of here. Oh, no, it doesn't know what to focus on. Anyway, you get a little, you get a lot of protection, and right when it comes up, you get that smell. And so there was like an almost like an alcohol kind of smell to it. And then you have, it's just a liquid that looks like a little bit thicker than water, but because there's none of that glycerol inside, it's a little bit thinner than a lot of the others. And so let's give it a shot. Oh, I missed that flavor. That's good. So it, it's definitely tart. That's where the lemonade comes to help assist with that. And then the blueberry aftertaste. Been getting a lot of blueberry lemonade supplements lately, and I gotta say, I'm a fan of the blueberry flavor. So for this one, it's actually lemonade and then blueberry for the finish. Kind of cleans things out, and uh, and that's a good flavor. Now I have been drinking the candy apple. This one is interesting because, boy, right, that's a lot more. Okay, big shot coming down here. It does taste like those candy apples. It's, it's almost like, you know those candy apples, the coating, it, it, it's candy apple, but it's not really always like the most candy-ish flavor. It's almost like, do the candy apples, does this taste like candy apples or do those candy apples taste more like L-carnitine? And it's almost like that. There, there's a, a touch of, um, this is basically like a sour green apple type flavor with a little bit of, I'm just gonna say like a little bit of like vinegar almost in there. And it does taste like a candy apple, but to, and I'm enjoying it, but to me the blueberry lemonade, I think is the original, is still the best. I, uh, yeah, it tastes like a candy apple. The thing is I'm not the biggest fan of those candy apples. <laughs> All right, and then flavor three, island pineapple, the one I have not yet tasted. I have a feeling I'm gonna be going back to this blueberry lemonade flavor every day. Shot, shot, shot. Love this stuff. Gets you kind of just going. And I'm not saying there's like a burn feel you get from it, but the benefits of l carnitine while I struggle to open this, basically your mitochondria, which are the powerhouse cells in your body that convert, convert your energy into real energy, ATP, uh, they need something to help transport the fatty acids to them to burn it off, and that is L-carnitine. So when you don't have enough L-carnitine in your body, and yes, I'm still struggling with this, when you don't have enough L-carnitine in your body, you don't have enough transport of the fatty acids to get them to the cells. And so that delays all sorts of things, including fat burn. And that's why you either gotta eat more meat or you got to supplement L-carnitine. This is crazy, I don't have anything sharp to like stab this thing with. I'm like struggling here. Okay, island pineapple. I need to grow my nails out again. It smells more tropical than just pineapple. It smells like there's a, another flavor inside on top of the pineapple. We'll see. Good little shot. No, that's mild. Okay. If you've been, I got this easy. If you've been offended by other L-carnitine supplements and you just want something that's easy to drink, no drama, no mess, no muss, no fuss, no nothing. Island pineapple, just it's just a hint of pineapple that kind of just kills everything. There's no, there, I'm not saying there's no flavor, there's no like L-carnitine or vinegar-ish flavor to it. It's just straight up, it's just a little bit of pineapple and it disappears. That's cool. And so some people who just want to get it one and done, get out of here, get in, get out, done. If you like something a little more tangy and you like that candy apple flavor, I would go with candy apple, but realize that this one's going to pucker a bit harder and it's gonna hit a little bit harder in terms of like the vinegar-ish scent to it. And then if you want something fun that's gonna hang around, I'm going back to the blueberry lemonade. This is such a stronger flavor system, both in terms of lemonade and the blueberry. It's more fun. I'm, I'm going with blueberry lemonade myself, but man, some people don't wanna deal with blueberries and crazy tastes and stuff and aftertaste of blueberries and lemonades popping on and out. Island pineapple. 
I am so surprised by how well they masked everything. It's just pineapple, faint pineapple and it's gone. That's crazy. Okay, so press.com slash SteelFit is where you can learn more about SteelFit supplements. Check out our articles. We have a, an article on the blog in the YouTube description. We'll be talking about this. Feel free to drop any comments and ask questions because L-carnitine, I think it's less controversial anymore. Like either eat red meat or you're not eating enough red meat and then you should supplement. That's my opinion. But uh, overall, feel free to ask any questions. I think this is good. It would have been fun to have Heather here, but we only had a couple videos to do anyway. So uh, th that's just my one-off impression. But man, I'm really, really excited about at least two of these three flavors. Candy apple, I'm, I'm getting through. But you know what? Blueberry wins for me, but I think pineapple is going for a lot of the other people. This is Mike with Pricewell. Check out Pricewell.com slash SteelFit. Sign up for alerts. Drop comments. Thumbs ups. Like this on Instagram. All that call to action stuff I'm supposed to do that I never do. Thank you for watching. And once again, congratulations to Rob Kaufman. Beautiful baby boy. Welcome to Pricewell.